Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to make a time entry tracker spreadsheet in Google Sheets. So this spreadsheet would be for someone who has to track their time at work, or you just want to track your time for any reason whatsoever. I just finished an accounting internship, and this was something I had to do, so I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have to also track their time and enter at the end of the day. However, you can easily forget what you do throughout the day so you want to track it as you go. So for example, we would put in today's date and the date um, and then for each given task you would put in the start time and end time. Let's say we did a task from 9 o'clock to 10.30. Then what we're going to do in this video is find out how to track the totals um, and then also what your total pay would be based on your hourly wage. So quick math in this example, you did a task for 1.5 hours, an hour and a half, you're getting $20 an hour, so it would be a $30 task if that makes sense. But in the next part, we're going to go over how all of this works and the formulas you need to use. So now we can get more into the formulas of how this spreadsheet works. So first, for your task, uh, you might want to say, I was working on a client A, and for notes, I was doing work papers two and four. However you want to do it for different industries, this will be a different task notes. You can add columns, take away columns, do whatever you want in this part, just so you know what you did and so you can enter it properly. Now, what we're gonna do first is we're going to calculate the total time and then the gross pay. So for total time, you would go into this column and you type in equals and then in parentheses you do the cell, the end time cell, minus the start time cell, and close your parentheses. Now, it tells you you are working for 0 .06 days. It is formatting currently in days. So one and a half hours is 0 .06 days. However, you want this to display in hours. So what you'll do is you, you'll go back into your formula at the top here, and you will select times 24. So times 24 gives you 24 hours in a day and it now tells you that you were working for 1.5 hours for this task. And what we can do is then drag this formula all the way down. So then if we add another task, say it's the same day, um, we're working on client A still, but now it's work paper 3. Um, and we worked on it from 10.30 to 11. So now we know there's an extra half hour here. And what you would probably want to do at the bottom or at any place on the sheet, you can be creative with it, but you would do a sum total of the total hours worked in the day. And you can make it look better than how I'm doing right now, but something to this effect would be ideal. You really want to see the total quickly without having to add up everything, especially if you get into a lot of different tasks. So now we'll look at gross pay. So gross pay is just the time you worked times your hourly wage. So pretty simple. You hit equals, click on the total time that we just calculated times the hourly wage. Hit enter. And it's $30. So also, you want to select this column F here and format it as a currency, dollars. Now, if we try to drag this formula down, we're going to have a lot of errors. And the reason that happens is because if you look in each cell, so first it's E5 times F2, but then in the second cell it's now E6, which you want, times F3. You want the F column to stay in row 2 the entire way. So how you do that is first let's delete all the bad information, click back on our original um, function, and then in front of the number 2 we'll insert a dollar sign, and this relates back to cell reference in my last video. I'll link that video, it talks about absolute and relative cell reference, and we'll hit enter. So now when you drag this down, uh, F2 will remain F2 while column E will go down one row at a time as you would want.
So you see uh, total pay is $30 and then $10. Um, and then again, you could also add another tracker for total pay here. You can get creative, like I said, and do whatever you want with this. Um, but that's pretty much the simple way to creating this sheet. So I have a couple final things to wrap up this video. First, let's clean this sheet up a little. Um, how I would do it is I'd add an extra row here so you can distinguish total hours from total dollars. Um, and then also, additionally, say you have another task and it goes from, it's not a clean number, so let's say it's from 11 to 11.10, 0 0.17 hours. Um, where I did my internship, they rounded tasks to the nearest tenth of an hour, so meaning every six minutes. So if a task is not a multiple of six minutes as an hour and a half, a half hour, or an hour are, this just is like a lot to look at. So what you could do to round it to the nearest tenth if you wanted to is you add to this formula equals, you type in round, and then you add a couple parentheses, you add a closing parentheses after 24, you add a comma, and then places. So the number you're putting here is how many decimal places you want. I just want one if I'm rounding to the nearest tenth. So I'll add one, hit enter, and then you see it rounds from 0.17 to 0.2, and you can drag this formula all the way up and down the line. And then one last thing after that to close up, um, just so you know, if you do a task, say it's from 11.10 now to 1.10 p.m., and you type in 1.10, it's going to think 1.10 a.m. because it's working on military time. So you have to type in 13.10 to keep track of it that way. So you have to remember to do that or else it's going to display a negative amount of hours worked and a negative pay, which is not what you want. That's pretty much it for this spreadsheet. You can certainly add a lot more to it, make it a lot more complex, but this is pretty much the simplest way you can look at it. Um, if you have any questions about it or suggestions for what you would add to it, please comment. And I hope you learned something. And if you did, I would always appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.